Alright, boys. So cool. I did not know this exists, guys. So here it is. Uh, you can get a 5 volt rotary encoder module for Arduino for 75 cents and free shipping. Um, it's different from a potentiometer, which I knew about, in that it never has to stop turning. Potentiometers only do like five turns and then they stop. For rotating, the rotary encoder can be counted in the positive direction and the reverse direction during rotation of the output pulse frequency. Unlike rotary potentiometer count, this rotation counts are not limited. With the buttons on the rotary encoder can be reset to initial state starting from zero. So, beautiful, man. So basically, if you have a CNC machine, this can track how long it's been traveling in one direction. If it's like 50 feet long, even 500 feet long, it'll count the total number of rotations. It's kind of like, I guess, then um, your odometer on a car. It'll it'll measure the miles. It'll just measure forever. It doesn't ever have to stop turning, unlike a potentiometer, which only can turn like 10, 20 times, whatever. So this is a really nice tool. Very cool. Um, should I buy like a three pack? I might only need one. Nah, let me just. Well, shoot. Hmm. Ah, whatever. I'll just buy two. Heck with it. Seventy-five cents each. Dollar fifty. We'll just buy it. I was literally gonna have like a tape measure that would just keep feeding through for a long time, then I'd have to manually rewind it all. And I would have a little camera pointing at the tape measure showing the actual distance it's traveled since the start time of the machine. This is so much better. Like that was like worst case scenario, I just didn't have the answer. I didn't know the technology existed that could do indefinite measurements in a single direction. Um that are actually not gonna ever skip. Like a servo could skip or something, so you can't measure its rotations. Like a I mean not a servo, um a stepper motor can have skips and stuff. So it can get thrown off on its measurements, but this thing wouldn't ever skip. It's just gonna turn a certain amount of times and count each and every tick. It's just great. That's exactly what I needed, but didn't know it existed. So I was coming up with other solutions that were a lot more difficult to to do, and this just solves it for me. This is awesome.